Uh, he's a John Number Slayer, clearly a Greninja. Greninja, ooh, okay. That's that's the character I'm seeing a hot minute. I'd love to see some good Greninja gameplay. I'm excited for this now. Oh, and clearly Mr. Mojo's feeling, or not Mr. Mojo, Mojo's <laughs> Rising's feeling good. Not Mojo, Mojo Game Slayer is feeling himself uh, after ooh. that. Oh, but okay, sometimes you get, you know, electric beats water, as they say. Uh, sometimes you die. <laughs> Drifting right into that dragon uppercut. But Mojo Game Slayer gets to play the game now a little bit. Looking to get that dash attack to catch the landing. Not quite finding it. You know, this would be rough after like beating John Numbers, just like kind of losing your next round to someone who like, you know, obviously speed's solid, but you know, after gaining John Numbers win, you feel like you want to try going far in the bracket. So I think a lot, Mr. Mojo Rising is like Clint. There's definitely some pressure on him to perform well, you know, after oh, getting a big upset so like that. And I think we saw last time with Falco using the high jumps to avoid, um, you know, Kazuya because of your Kazuya's slow jump it, um, and lack of, like, mobility. I think very similar things are going to be happening with Greninja right here. Greninja also has top three highest jumps in the game. So can weave around Kazuya really well and bait out Godfist just like that. So, you know, rough start. And that just that just happens with Kazuya, especially on FD. You can just lose a stop sometimes. But it seems to not be affecting him too much. And he's just been baiting out these moves from uh, from Ski right there. Ski throwing stuff out. Got to slow down a bit. Wait for Greninja to come landing first. Because if you throw the move out while he's at the apex of the jump, he's going to be floating there for far too long. Right. And, I mean, you know, about a minute and a half that, uh, you know, Game Slayer's second stock right there, he only took about 30% before taking Skeet's first stock. Ooh, didn't get the jab lock there. Skeet is slowly approaching. <laughs> Skeet, Skeet's got to calm down. <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's, you know, it's interesting because, like, Skeet's, you know, no, no shade, but he's been pressing a lot of buttons and he's winning. Like, so it's like, what, what can you even say? Like, clearly Kazi is on to something. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we are on FD right yeah, now, where Kazuya gets that sort of privilege. Yeah, it's like, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm the personal belief that, like, even if you are Greninja or someone who really benefits from FD, you just don't take Kazuya here. It's just, no. he just zeroed death to you, like, guaranteed, if he's, like, on point, you know, it's just, you just don't do it. But, uh, clearly, Mojo Game Slayer, the John Numbers Slayer, feeling himself a bit too much to listen to some puny stage uh, <laughs> theory. You know, just gonna bait stuff out like that. I mean, Mr. or not Mr. Skeet is um, definitely running into him a bit too much right now. And look at this, yeah, the whiff punch is coming out. Skeet, just every button Ooh. he's been pressing has been gained whiff punish, but this, this is the thing. Kazuya on FD, 50%. You could oh. die in the next opening. I was gonna Here. say, <laughs> the rage art maybe could have killed at ledge right there. I was very scared. Ooh, Kazuya's heavy. I like that aggression though, like just instant jump doing it, you know, kind of been baiting out landings a lot, so Skeet probably not ready for uh, Mojo Game Slayer to just jump up there and swing. This is so scary, honestly. <laughs> Even though the percent is doubled, it's like we both can die equally. Oh! oh. Okay. okay. I'm saying, uh. Yeah, Oof. honestly, yeah, I don't blame him for, for some little fist bumps to hype himself up. That's scary. That's scary when he lands. Like, when you're throwing out short hop fares, you know, it's so, that was a few frames away from losing right there. Absolutely. But yeah, you, you, you'd you earn those fist bumps. The, That's stressful. The adrenaline is flowing right now. Especially the yodeling in the background. I don't know if it was just me, but that, that, that's that, a, that had me tensed up. That's got a chaotic energy. Yeah, like I'm, I, it's like I'm in Midsommar right now. They're, <laughs> they're watching in a circle with flames around me. I have to win this set or I'm getting sacrificed. Like It's a lot of the line right here. All right, and it does look like we're going to be going right back to yeah, FD. Yeah, I don't blame Skeet for this at all. I mean, it's definitely Kazuya's best stage. Just, uh, honestly, you got to just get whiff punished last. This is the big thing to take away for Skeet right here. He's pressing a lot of buttons right into Mojo Game Slayer just standing still. Using, I feel like, the, the dash on the ground, the, like, invincible dash on the ground for Kazuya could help close the space a lot without throwing out a move that can get, like, dash attacked by Greninja, so... Definitely some things to consider just mixing up your movement and positioning to where it's not so obvious when you're going to be attacking from and what spacing Greninja needs to do. Right, well, one thing I did want to point out in game one is I don't think it's just Mojo Game Slayer standing still. Mojo has been walking so much. Yeah, He's been yeah. throwing out so many of these little micro walks to and 
get Skeet to throw out those whiff punishable hitboxes. Yeah, exactly. The, the walking to the stand right outside the distance of the God Fist or of a side B, you know. Really good stuff. I mean, see how you just dash dancing back and forth. Like, come to me, do a move that's punishable. So, you know, it's up to Skeet to not bite on that, to wait till he has a guaranteed opportunity rather than force something. Rage is offline now. Yeah, but this, this high of a percentage doesn't matter too much, I feel like. Oh, almost. Maybe it did matter. Fab sequence almost taking it. I think an up throw might take it right now from Skeet. Especially with uh, so much traditional smash rage. Oh, oh, got the electric. That is a lucky break for Mojo Games. Like, that could have been real bad. Ooh. Yeah, mm -hmm. once again, that fair just kind of punishing Skeet, pressing buttons on the ground a bit willy-nilly. Yeah, Skeet's been doing that sort of slow approaching wall of electrics and it just hasn't quite worked out for him, but the big boot yeah. will be working out. And that was super important to close that out, you know, you could definitely, it could have been a world where uh, Mojo Game Slayer got like a 70% okay. Oh, well, you, you know died Never mind. Never at mind. 60 just... after the hit. Yeah, that is, you just got Kazuya on MT. Oh, but well, you might Kazuya oh, okay. Oh, throwing out the dragon uppercut. Maybe a little bit of frustration. Don't let the yeah. shadow sneak happen again. I was scared. And just again, spacing right outside of that side B. And Skeet not quite ready for that cross up there with the Greninja dash attack. Not. Oh, there we go. The dragon uppercut again. And it is a really good mix-up from the normal God Fist because, you know, uh, Mojo Game Slayer could see the startup of the move, think it's a God Fist, then move in to punish Ooh. that, but then it has a bit longer and is uh, the Dragon one. Works right there, but Mojo is just too on point, honestly. The conversion is just too on point. Did not let Skeet really get going ever. He continues to be slaying. Yeah. Yeah, beat John Numbers, beat Skeet right now. I think makes it out pools, winner's side. Uh, one more to winner's side top eight. You know, who knows with the way he's playing with the John Numbers win. I'm sure he's got a good bracket taking John Numbers' seed over. All right, and yeah, you can even see right there, I think Skeet was already starting to get frustrated throwing out that down air because, you know, Kazuya does kind of throw out his leg a little bit, so maybe Skeet was looking for something with a bit more reach to try and contend with Mojo's micro-spacing. Yeah, I think, honestly, if Skeet just tried to mix up movement a bit more, you know, I feel like he moved forward with attacks. Like, instead of, like, what, you know, he moved, that was his movement. Like, if he could just use that, like, ground dash a bit more, anything mm -hmm. to make it more ambiguous when he's going to throw something out, it would have gone a long way because it was really just a whole game of, a uh, whole uh, game of whip punishes. But, yeah. mm -hmm. but it does look like we're going to be seeing a caster swap coming into this next block. Yes, looks like it. I'm not